What? Since we're making believe there's a boat, let's make believe we have a fire. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going. You don't have to yell. Yes, I do know when you get the fire. <laughs> Gilligan, I told you to be careful. I'll fix it, Skipper. No, Gilligan, don't touch it. <laughs> Gilligan, why'd you do a dumb thing like that? P.S. This was the only dumb thing I could think of doing. <laughs> Where to be or not to be? That is the question that I ask. And that is the answer that you get from me. <laughs> Now, wait a minute, Gilligan. Huh? Give me that. But, Skipper... I'll be George, you be Martha Washington. <laughs> You're right. George was taller. <laughs> Gilligan, if you go with me, then Ginger will be alone. Yeah, she better come along with us. Now, look, you two, I want you to stay here, and that's an order. Yeah, but, Skipper, Skipper, if you go out there all by yourself, Skipper... Gilligan, Skipper, can I say two words? Yeah. Let go! <laughs> It's like a storm up there. Yeah, regular cloudburst. Look at the sea, it's starting to pitch. It was a lot of technical lingo, but it sure sounded like he had the key to this situation. Old <laughs> Kai's asleep already. Well, wait for me! Will you get going? Am I from Mars or Venus? Where do I come from? Well, it depends on how far I have to chase you. How many people are going to come rescue us? Six people, three women and three men. And I think they're coming by boat because they're near some water. Really? Let me see that picture, Gilgit. Yes, sir, three women and three... Oh, no. Gilligan, you dunce, this is a picture of us. Oh, well, I thought we looked kind of familiar. <laughs> Gilligan, how do you do it every time? Every time! <laughs> You will be our special task force. And try and not get in anybody's way. Don't worry, Skipper. I'll do a real good job. <laughs> After Gilligan's little cruise around the lagoon, there isn't nearly enough fuel left for a flight to Hawaii. You know what you are. You're bumbling, stupid, incompetent, and useless. And those are your good points. You're right, Skipper. I deserve it. Well, I've got to admit, a couple of those words went past me, too. <laughs> well, basically, all ancient forms of writing are read from right to left. I read from left to right. So instead of telling us how to leave the island, the tablet tells us something they consider much more important, which is how to get here. You mean the tablet tells how to get on the island? What's so tough about that? We did it without even trying. <laughs> I've been telling you both for weeks and weeks now that the sodium hypochlorite content of the bleach was of such vast proportions that the mere vapor in the laundry area saturated the scalp follicles. Would you mind explaining that again, Professor? Never mind, Gilligan. He's been repeating it long enough. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.